Consider the following information. Y is equivalent to 10 times the value of X divided by 5. Which of the following choices represents the same relationship as the aforementioned information? To solve this question, let's first start by writing out this equation uh, into mathematical terms instead of in words. Y is equivalent to 10 times the value of X divided by 5. And from here, we can simplify 10 divided by 5 will give us 2. So our equation is y is equal to 2 times x. And this already tells me a couple of things. One, this y, or excuse me, this equation does not have a b. It does not have a y-intercept, which means it's going to pass through the origin, 0, comma, 0. So we can eliminate one answer choice already for having a y-intercept, and that is answer choice d. Answer choice C does go through the origin, but that doesn't automatically mean it's correct. We'll come back to that in just a moment. For answer choices A and B, let me grab a new color. And we're going to want to plug in these X values to see if we do indeed get the Y values they're supposed to result in. So we'll have Y is equal to 2 times X, which is 0 here. And then we'll do 2 times 1. We'll just do all of these X values. And really what this is going to do is we're just going to be counting up by twos. We're just sort of going up our two multiplication table. Two times zero is zero. Two times one is two, then four, six, eight. And that does match all of our y values here. So it's looking like a is the correct answer, but let's double check answer choice b and c. Now let's do answer choice b. We'll plug in all of these x values. So we'll have y is equal to uh, negative, two, excuse me, two times a negative 2. And before I write any more multiplication problems out, um, this y value equals negative 25. Uh, 2 times 2 does not equal 25. Uh, 2 times negative 2 certainly does not equal negative 25. So I can go ahead and eliminate answer choice B as an option. For answer choice C, let's zoom in a little bit. And let's find a point on this graph that we could use to test with our equation. Again, our equation is y is equal to 2x. Uh, so let's find a point. I like this point right here. We have to the right 5 and up 2, which would give us the coordinate point of x is 5 and y is 2, 5 comma 2. And so now we can plug in these values of x and y and see if we get a true statement. So we'll have 2 as our y is equal to 2 times 5, which is our x. 2 is not equal to 10, which is 2 times 5. So that means answer choice C is incorrect and answer choice A is our correct answer.